Yes. Yes, Monsieur Aguinou, pardon. Thank you. Well, I, I didn't go on the trip. I did happen to go to Cork, which is uh, in Ireland, uh, for a, an EU event, where I met a young Slovenian farmer. And he said something that quite surprised me. He said that quite a lot of young farmers and farmers are leaving Slovenia, or if they're not leaving it, they're buying land in Serbia, I think it is, which isn't in the European Union, in order to get access to the Russian market. And I wondered whether he could confirm or deny that. I was also interested to hear him talk about climate change and the effect that it's having in Slovenia. It's producing late spring frosts. And would he consider that uh, the enormous efforts that we've gone to to uh, reduce the temperature of the world have really gone quite far enough and we, know, we need go no further? Thank you. Mr. Bogovic, France. Yeah. Uh, thank you for these kind words. And uh, I want to answer Mr. Agnew. I hope that next time you will be with us. Uh, in Slovenia, it's around 70,000 farms. Uh, active, uh, it's between 20 and 30,000 active that they live of, or they depend on uh, agriculture production. And one of the good data uh, and what was happened in the, this financial period 2007-2013 is that uh, close to 4,000 young farmers was involved in this program for young farmers. And I think this is one of the most important part of uh, rural development and all cap policy. And uh, we have, as you said, Martin, a lot of these small-scale farms with diversification. And in such a small farms, uh, this is also answer on these problems which we have today in this uh, trade with uh, agriculture articles. So that I think that and, uh, I, I'm very happy that we have this fresh blood in, uh, in Slovenian farms. It's the same process as all around the world that the number of farm, the farm, uh, farms decrease, but I'm sure that uh, because of uh, cap policy in which we are very good uh, involved, um, this decrease is slower, and now I can say that uh, now is this transformation that uh, many, many of these direct connections between consumers and producers are made, especially on these small-scale farms. We don't have this, uh, uh, as you, you said, for Serbia, that Slovenian uh, buy land, but there was at the beginning, uh, for sure, uh, if we follow the export uh, to Russia at the beginning from Serbia, and today if we follow export from Belarus or from, uh, from Kazakhstan, I am sure that there is, are some ways uh, for these articles uh, uh, because of these bans uh, that Russian closed their market. But this is in, that, in this year especially, it's not, I, we cannot feel this, that uh, uh, the, it happens. And also, uh, as I said, uh, the young uh, people stay on farm. What was also uh, about climate changes, uh, I am apple producer also at home, and I suffered this year because of the frost on 26th of April. Uh, I have uh, young uh, three hectares of orchards of apples. There should be, because this is the half of them are in the third year, there should be between 120, 130 tons. It was only, only 14 tons, a little more than 10 percent. So that we, we made a lot uh, for, um, uh, we built uh, many orchards with uh, protection against hail, these nets. I also have irrigation system in my, in my orchards, like yesterday colleagues from Israel uh, present this drip system with small use of water. But the problem is what Mariana Pete from Croatia, because Croatia, Austria, Hungary suffered this. We, we had this action at the beginning of this year uh, because of this risk management. Insurance for uh, protection against this frost is so expensive that people don't use it. And here are things I think it's necessary to do something because we, we made about uh, other things against, against, uh, against this frost. You need so, so a lot of water so that it's impossible to do.